Hello and welcome to my very first Fume Effects and 3ds Max tutorial. I will show you how you can create different smoke colors for your different smoke sources. So I just set up a pretty simple scene. I use, uh, of course, a Fume Effects container, two light sources, just a normal target directional lights, and two simple sources uh, to emit some smoke and fire. All right, so first of all, we need to calculate our simulation. Let me render this out. I'm using the normal scanline render for this tutorial. Normally I use V-Ray, but uh, since FumeFX uh, and 3ds Max comes with the standard scanline render, I use this. Uh, but it works with Mental Ray, V-Ray and probably Final Render or the most other engines out there that supports uh, FumeFX rendering. So uh, you can see the smoke is pretty pretty normal, nothing special, just grayish, black, dark smoke. Uh, let's change me something in the black body settings. I set this up and you can see the fire is pretty dominant in this scene. So if I crank this a bit up, uh, we will get a better result for our purposes. So, okay, but now, uh, if I have different smoke uh, emitters or sources and uh, I want to have different smoke colors, I can set it up the normal way by changing in the render tab the smoke color. So normally you use your gradient map or the keyless mode, but uh, if I can show you, this changes the color for everything. So how do we get our different smoke colors? Well, we need to go to the object and source tab, select our source that we want to colorize. So uh, the first we need to uh, change the type to set voxel value and do this again for our second source. Next, we jump into render tap and scroll down and change in the smoke rollout the color source to grid and in the simulation tab we need to scroll down to the color rollout and hit simulate color and make sure in the gen tab that the color output also uh, your your channel output of color is exported and in the left box. All right, so as I said, we uh, need to hit the, the simulate color. That means the color will be simulated and no longer be just controlled by rendering. So keep in mind, if you want to do your final super high resolution ass kicking uh, Iron Man smoke simulation, you need to Make sure that your smoke color is set up perfect uh, because if you, uh, after you calculate your simulation and you want to change your color, you need to redo the complete simulation. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, so the actually the coloring of the smoke, uh, you'll go back to object and source and change the color here for now. So down here, besides of the set voxel value, you can change the color here. And of course, uh, we need to do this for the other source. So I'll give this uh, some nice pink. I don't know if pink is the right word in English. Maybe it is. Okay. So now you can see we don't have any color, so we need to rebake our simulation. And in the preview window, you already can see that there is uh, no big difference. But why? Let me render this. 
Ah, well, of course. Uh, just forgot in the render tab, uh, go down to your smoke. And we need to change the color of the smoke to white. Because this will be used as a mask for now and no longer as a uh, color. So best if you go almost or complete white. And render it again just to see. You can see it's pretty okay. I will do a little bit higher resolution render uh, simulation. Not too much on this PC. Uh, not that much of RAM. Render it again. And as you already could see, we have different smoke. Uh, of course, we need to play around with the settings to get more details, nice shadows and stuff like this, but that's just up to you how far you will go. I just leave it as it is. And uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, I will show you if I want to change this to a green, it won't work. So if I render this again, we still get our pink and blue color. So as I said, you need to redo your simulation. So you can see this is green and no longer pink. So please keep that in mind. Uh, you will save a lot of headache. And yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.